Hey, our friends, we got a cool drawing we're going to do today, huh, Checkers? Yeah. What are we going to draw, dude? A Roman soldier. Awesome. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, cool. We hope you guys are going to follow along. We do this every... What are you doing? We do this every Monday through Friday, don't we, Checkers? Yep. Yes, we do. We have fun drawing, and we have fun sharing it with you guys. Be sure to stay till the end of this video, because we're going to show their art, and we're also going to open more mail, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, dude, you ready to draw? Uh-huh. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with our paper vertical. <laughs> Crazy kid. Because we're going to draw the soldier standing up. Okay? Yeah. And he's going to be awesome. He's going to have all this cool armor on. So we're going to start with his helmet. And we're going to draw a U shape right here. But it's going to be an upside down U shape. You don't want to draw it too big because this is going to be his head. You don't want him to look like a bobblehead, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you can draw a nice U shape right in the middle. Good job, dude. Okay. Now we're going to draw kind of a, a V shape down here at the bottom and connect the bottom like that. And this is going to be his chin, but it's also going to be part of his helmet. Awesome. Good job, dude. Okay, now let's draw the armor part on top of his head or above his eyebrows. So we draw a slightly curved line. So it's curved slightly down. Good job. Then we're going to put two ends like this on the side. Got it? Okay, mm -hmm. now we're gonna do a, a more curved line. This is gonna be curved more than the bottom one. Good. Okay, now let's put two lines right here in between, so kind of framing his jaw. Good, and I'm gonna make those a little bit longer. Then we're going to do a curved line that comes down and meets into that side, and then a curved line on this side meeting that that side. <laughs> and these are the part. This is the part of the helmet that protected his jaw. And then we're going to next. We're going to draw the part of his helmet that protected his nose. So a little piece that came down and protected his nose. Let's get his eyes in there. <laughs> Two little dots. And we'll do his mouth. We're just going to do a little so-so face. <laughs> All right, dude, we got his helmet. It looks awesome. I like yours. Okay, now let's do, they had, um, I don't know what it was called, but they had this decoration kind of on top of their helmet that was made out of hair, I think, <laughs> or fur. It's kind of like a broom. <laughs> hair. Hair. All right, now let's do a curved line down the side. So you can see it looks 3D, and then a little straight line right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, and then we'll do a little line here on the bottom and a curved line on the side. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, and then we can do some straight lines here. Let's give it a little texture. Cool, dude. We're completely done with this helmet. It looks no, awesome, huh? I thought you were about to say, we're completely done. <laughs> no, we're not done with the drawing yet. All right, let's keep going. We're going to draw his neck. And let's draw a curved line that comes out this way. Another one that comes out this way. We always draw curved lines. I don't know why I always say draw a curved line. <laughs> draw, <laughs> draw this. Draw, draw a curved that. line. I mean a circle. <laughs> Good. This is a little part that's keeping his uh, cape together, his uh, cloak. So draw two lines coming out to connect to his neck. Good job. And I'm going to extend those out just a little bit past, slightly past his neck. Good. Okay, now I'm going to do two more lines coming out. But you want them to get further apart towards the end. You see that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do another one, another one. And then the same over here, like that. This is going to turn into his cape. And it's going over his shoulders. So, here we go. Do a line like that. Good. And then we'll come out of this one and do the same. See how that looks 3D? Doesn't that look mm -hmm. awesome? 
Yeah. It's a fun way to do the cape. This also would work for Superman, anybody else that has a cool cape. Cool. Good job, man. All right. Yay, now let's do his chest plate. And it's going to come down like this and around and back up. His chest armor. Good job. Okay, now let's do a shield. We're gonna draw a big shield over here on the right, and it's gonna be an oval shape because it's a four. Sh Shields are really. This one's gonna be a circle, but because it's tipped, it's gonna look a little uh, squished, like an oval, and or an ellipse, and it's called foreshortened. There we go. Is that cool? It looks 3D. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to do the same, except I'm only going to do it on this side of his shield because it's tipped and you can't see it around the other side. Yes. That's so cool, dude. You having fun? Yeah. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw a center. To his shield, and it's a it's also an ellipse, and it's off to the side because it's still tipped. Isn't mm -hmm. that cool? Yeah. So it looks like this shield's kind of round. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. Okay, let's draw a shoulder that's coming over the edge, like that. Good. And then we'll draw another shoulder on this side. And you want it to match because he's symmetrical, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we'll draw. We can draw that coming back in. Let's draw his. Uh, let's draw his stomach plate first. We'll come down two lines. Let's draw draw those a little bit further down. Wow, he's really skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> this is just his stomach plate. <laughs> he's super skinny. Huh? Let's fix that. We'll draw a line this way. That's for his belt. And that's why I went out further, because he's not that skinny, huh? <laughs> so and then we'll draw the oh, sides. That's really big. Yeah. <laughs> and we draw the sides right here, and we add a line there, and then, and then he's not as skinny, huh? Uh... <laughs> and then let's draw, we'll draw this line for his sleeve, something like that. And this line is coming down further, because we're going to turn that into his bicep. Draw a little J, a funny looking J. Good job. Hey, now we're going to draw his arm and we're going to come back up and it's going to come out of the side of his body right here. And then we're going to, so go ahead and do that little line. Then we're going to draw another line that comes down and then it has a little hook at the end. Good. Okay, now this side, we're going to draw, it's going to curve out, but then come down to his to his uh, wrist, and then it's going to also flare out like that. Good job. And then we'll put a small little line right there. This is going to be for his thumb. Good. And then this line, I'm going to bring down just a little bit further. And then we'll connect them like that. And that's his hand. He's going to be holding his sword pointed down. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's give him an arm, some armor on his arm. And this is going to be a little metal plate on his arm. Cool. And see how and this is curved so that it looks like his arm is 3D also. Is that awesome? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's keep going. Let's add some more details. I'm going to put some stripes right here. And they, they don't have to be even. This is going to look like he's wrapped. Good job. Then we're going to add some more lines right here. I'm going to add them on this side too. Good. Let's do one more. We're going to add one more right here and right here. Awesome. You got it? Cool. Good job, man. Okay, let's do his belt. We're going to add a 
another line parallel and then we can connect it at the end good job now let's do one more we'll do a thin one right here good okay now let's do this pants part draw two lines that come out from his belt this is looking really cool huh yeah yeah okay all right and then from the belt they would have sometimes they had these leather straps that came down from his belt so we're gonna draw we'll draw a couple lines two lines that come down and then connect them and then do another two lines right next to it connect them Good. That's awesome. That's really cool. You could put another one right in the middle if you want. Yes. Oh, and you did a little overlapping. That looks really cool. Okay, and then let's connect these. Connect the two outer ones. The contour line. Awesome. Okay, now let's do his legs. So we're gonna have a. We're gonna do one straight line, right here, and then it's going to. Bend out right at the end. Good. And then we're going to make the same length line on this side. And then bend that one out the same amount. We're done with his legs. Oh, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a stick, stick figure. figure. Yeah, like stick figure like legs for cheeks. Romans. <laughs> oh, can I not talk for the rest of the day? <laughs> <No. laughs> All right, let's do his calves. We're, we're going to do the rest of his legs. We're going to come down. And then you want to come closer to his, closer to his, uh, the line over here for his ankle. Your okay? marker's running out. I know it's totally running out. So come down close to his ankles. And I got a new one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might need a switch. I don't know if it's gonna finish the video. How dare you? How dare you, marker? All right. So come. So then come back out. No, what I mean, like, mm. how dare you, like. Me? Switch. Oh, oh switch mean, in the middle I, of the video? No, I thought you mean like switch. Like you, uh, you mean I give it to you. Oh, like, oh, I'll like, switch you? No, I'll get a new one. I, was, I, thinking, <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> okay, let's do a little line right at the end of his toes. And then we'll connect them at the bottom on both sides. He has bare feet. Yeah, no, we need to put some shoes on him. So we'll put another line right above that bottom line that we just did. And that's for his shoes. And then we're going to do some cross lines right here because they did wear shoes that looked a lot like sandals. And we'll cross on this side too. And then I'm going to do a little line right here on the bottom. Good job. So I, and then add that last line and then we'll color these brown. So it looks like he's got shoes on. Okay. All right. We're missing the cool part, the, sh the sword. Okay. So we'll do a line for first part of the sword. I don't know. I can't remember what that's called. Okay, and then let's do, uh, we'll come out straight from the middle, and we're going to put a, a small little point right there. And then we're going to put two little lines, and then we're going to curl to that point. Mm. Yep, and then the other side. Oh. <laughs> you know what I was going to do. Yeah. Okay, you're already done that. <laughs> okay, then let's bring a point all the way down here, straight out from the first one we drew. And then that's where the point of the sword's gonna be. So we're gonna. He's pointing to his leg. Yeah. He's like, oh. He might cut it. He's gotta be <laughs> careful. <laughs> so we're gonna come out on both sides. And you want those lines to be parallel. Okay. Might need this. And then so right at the can... end, then we bring them back in to that point. I was thinking of going down all the way to the point, but. 
Oh like yeah. Mid- oh, that's okay. No, you know, we're we're gonna put another line right through the middle of the oh, sword, and that'll right. cover up your your dot. Awesome. Okay, let's put a little handle back here. Just a little handle coming through out the back. Sweet. It looks so awesome. <laughs> okay, we're missing his cape. Okay. Okay. We're gonna bring another line right here. We'll bring another line on this side. You know what? Let's bring this line all the way out. And we'll bring it through, maybe through the sword right there. And then this line, I'm going to imagine this side coming through and then out over here. I'm going to bring that down just a little further. And then we can overlap through his legs here. Like that. Oh, that's so cool. Check it out, man. That is one awesome looking soldier. Yours is taller than mine. He looks awesome. <laughs> we gotta color this one, huh? Yeah. For sure. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, dude, we got all our colors ready, huh? We have a gold, we have a red, gray, a dark gray, dark brown, and we also got kind of this tan color we're going to use for the skin. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. First, let's do his face. So we'll get this tan color and we're going to fill in his face and his arm. Okay. Let's let's fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Right, right now. Yeah. Okay, checkers. So I'm using this little light, uh, this brown, and I put a small, uh, light layer underneath his chin. So it looks like a shadow. Mm-hmm. Does that make his neck look like it's further back, huh? Yeah. And then I'm going to do also a light layer right under his bicep on the left side of his arm for the shadow. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to, what I did on his neck was go back over with the tan and blend it so it looks smoother and doesn't look as dark. You see that? That looks really cool, huh? So next, let's go down and we'll do his, the inside of his legs. Okay. And then also do right above or below the uh, pants part. And then we'll do another thin light layer to blend it. Light layer of the tan. Okay. And then also we did it in the helmet too. We also made... Uh, a little shadow, a small shadow, right at the top of his, right where his eyebrows would be, and then on his cheeks. So it looks 3D. It looks like the helmet's kind of casting a shadow on his face. And then you can go back over his eyes, since they'll probably look lighter. When you put pastels over the markers, it covers it up. Mm-hmm. You got it? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, put his eyes back in there. He doesn't, looks like he's missing some eyes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Good. Nice. Okay, now let's switch to the light gray. Okay, we're going to do his helmet. We'll do his chest plate, his stomach plate, and then also his sword. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Right now. now. Okay, dude, I got the dark... I got the dark gray and I put a, a light layer right here on his stomach so that it's going to make it look like his chest is out further than his stomach. And then I put a small shadow under his cape and then I'm going to blend that back in with the light gray. Okay, and then I also put in a light layer on the side of his helmet to make his helmet look round 3D. Good job, dude. It looks awesome. Okay, Mm -hmm. now let's switch to the gold, and we'll do a couple gold parts on his. We'll do this, uh, the part that keeps his cape together, and then we'll also do his arm uh, armor and a little piece on his sword, and also do the trim on his on his shield. All right, looks good, man. Okay, now let's switch to the red, and we're gonna do his cape. We're also going to do his hair 
and we're going to do the part on his um, on his legs over here. Okay. And we'll also do the stomach part. Checkers, let me show you a cool trick. So in between these little strips on his on his legs, it's kind of hard to get the mark the uh, pastel in between. And so if you flip your pastel over, this flat part has a nice sharp edge all the way around, and you can use that to get in tight places. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Kind of a neat trick. All right, you got it, man. You got you got him all colored in. He's almost done. So I did a little shading on his shield, and I used brown, and I put a thin layer, a light layer, just on the left side of his shield, just like that. And then I used the red to go back over it and blend it in so it looks nice and round. Yes, just like that. That looks awesome, dude. And I did leave a little light, a little light strip of red. A thin strip of red on the other side kind of looks like a reflective light. Awesome. That's okay. so cool. Oh, and then we also did a layer of brown on top of his stomach armors. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> well, maybe we need a vacuum down here. <laughs> it's too much dust for you. All right, so I put a little brown on top of his stomach too. And it looks a little better because then it's separate from his cape. And he doesn't look skinny now because <laughs> he was looking skinny again. All right, so we're going to switch. Now we're going to get our brown and we're going to come down here and do his belt and the strips that come down his legs and then also his shoes. Okay? Okay. All right, we're almost done. Let's do a shoulder armor and let's do that gray also. Okay, and then the last step, use the black, and you can use the back side of that too, so you have a nice sharp edge, and go back over the straps on his legs, and that'll make him look darker again. Yeah. Perfect. Dude, that looks so awesome. Give me five. Was that fun? Yeah. I had a blast doing this one. I think he looks really cool. We should do a bunch of them right next to each other, so it looks <laughs> like an army of them. Would that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, we got a ton of mail to open. Yeah. And we also got some art to show. Should we do that? Yeah. All right, let's clean this up and we'll get the mail out. Okay. Hey, Chuckers, look at all that mail. <laughs> this is only half of the mail that we have. So we got a, <laughs> we got a ton to open. We're going to do this a lot quicker, so we're going to try and speed through it. And you okay? <laughs> Don't hurt your face, dude. <laughs> but we do want to feature everybody's mail, so we're going to try and get to it eventually. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. So this first one's from MJ. Dress a seahorse. And another seahorse. It's awesome. You're practicing. It looks so cool. Check that out. It's awesome, huh? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. And then SpongeBob. That looks so cool. Check it out. SpongeBob. Oh, and then Chalisa, Chalisa, I think that's how you say it, also drew a seahorse that looks really cool. And then we got a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we are still getting to our Christmas mail. I know that's kind of sad, yeah. but it's been hard to get on top of all the mail we're getting. So hopefully we'll get up to date and we'll stay on top. All right, this next one's from Kinley. Kinley drew a, this is, what does that look like? Uh, a horse? Yeah. That's a horse. It's so cool. Kinley, good job. This one's from Haley. She drew a Enderman. That is so cool, huh, Chuckers? Mm -hmm. And Henley is from, or sorry, Kate, Haley is from Round Rock, Texas. That's so cool. And then she also drew or wrote us a letter. And she said, I love to draw my art teacher, Mrs. Shore. In school, when we had a little bit of time, we went on an art for kids. So she wanted us to draw when it's winter break. So I went on your art for kids and drew some pictures. I'm Haley and I am in the third grade. Wow, Haley's in the third grade and she drew that Enderman. That's so cool. Good job, Haley. It's from Haley too in a different envelope. No way, Haley sent us and another more one. more Minecraft. More Minecraft? 
Ah, that's awesome. What's that one? Creeper. Creeper. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Good job, Haley. <laughs> and Porter Drew, what is that? Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. Stay away from me, money. <laughs> what did Jimmy draw? What is that? Um, what is that? Toothless. Toothless. Good job, Jimmy. Orca. Oh, he also drew an orca. So cool. Jimmy, oh, that's awesome. Good job. Wow, check that out. It's Jetvac. Jetvac Full Blast. You hold that up because they also wrote us a letter. Can you hold that? Hold it up close so they can see. And this is from, my name is Jimmy. This might be the same Jimmy. I'm not sure. No, I think it's, oh yeah, it is the same Jimmy. And he wrote, my name is Jimmy. I had not really liked art before, but after watching your video, I thought art is fun. I had drew, drawn things that I thought was amazing. A jet vac and toothless. I had also made an origami spider. I had trouble with the <coughs> legs. Well, what the? <laughs> I had trouble with the legs though. The legs were really hard on the spider. I remember. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me like art. Oh, that's awesome, Jimmy. Thanks for the nice letter. And you are a great artist. I could never tell that you didn't like art. I get, it looks like you love art. It's yeah. really cool. This is another one from Haley. She drew a killer whale. Oh, Haley, you're such a good artist, and thank you for sending us so much art. We love it. Haley also drew Princess Unikitty. Ah. <laughs> Isabella drew, that looks like a really cool spiky flower. And she's eight. Good job, Isabella. Mr. Al from Victoria. Victoria, thanks for sending in your owl. It's so cute. We're going to put this on the back wall. Mm -hmm. woo, woo. <laughs> this one's from Juliana, and the letter is... She wrote us a letter? Yeah. You going to read it to us? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Dear Art for Kids, I like drawing from your website. I like drawing Baymax, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks. <laughs> So, no, it's already past Christmas. yeah, even though it's past Christmas and we're finally getting to your mail, thanks for sending that in, Juliana. Bryn sent us a nice picture. I bet that's of her. And she drew it with oil pastels. She did a really good job of coloring that, too, huh? Mm -hmm. She wrote us a letter, too. She says, Dear Art for Kids Hub, I love your videos. Chuckers and Hads do a great job. I do all the drawings and have a blast. Thanks for sharing your talent with me. I look forward to my next drawing. From Bryn. Thanks, Bryn. Such a cute little drawing. We're going to hang that up, too. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Aww. Check that out. Jared drew the wolf. Hold that up. That is so awesome. He also sent a typed letter. It says, Dear Rob, my name is Jared. I'm 10. I love your website. Mom just came across it this fall. I love especially the realistic art work you show us to do. My younger brother and sister love the snowman this week, too. I love drawing the cheetah and this wolf. I like it fast forwarded because it made it more challenging for me. I can't wait to see what you do next. I look forward to the email every week. Thanks a lot. Have a great Christmas, Jared. That's awesome, Jared. You did such a great job on that wolf. I love this. This is really cool. You did an awesome job. This is from one of the speed drawings that I did, huh? Yeah. The wolf. He did a great job of following along. It looks so awesome. It looks very realistic too. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Check these out. We got a dinosaur and we got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> and also a letter. It says, Dear Rob Hads, Chuckers and Austin, I really enjoy your tutorials. They help me draw a lot of awesome stuff. Now I draw stuff for my friends. Whenever I have free time, not playing academy soccer, I am watching your videos. I am nine years old and I live in Ontario, Canada. Hope you liked my Raptor and Ninja Turtle. Yes, we do. This is from Priya. I think I said that right, <laughs> but such a good job. Thanks for sending that in. We love it, huh? Yeah. We love it when it's colored too. Uh, it's Baymax in a letter and it says, Dear Art for Kids, I hope you like my drawing. I drew along with one of your videos from Sierra Morgan. Thanks, Sierra. That's such a cool Baymax. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yes. This one's from Elo, and it says Shelly on it. And it's such a cute little drawing of a person. I love it. I like your shoes, too. Check those mm -hmm. out. <laughs> oh, it's an awesome drawing of Jack. Mm -hmm. And also a note says, Dear Checkers and Rob, I love your videos. I have been learning tons of art. 
from your channel and I hope you make tons and more videos in the future so I learn I can learn more from you guys. I drew a picture that I learned from your videos. Hope you like it. Yes, we don't like it. We love it. <laughs> it's such a good job with Jack, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, nope. Candace sent us a letter and she wrote, number one fan. I think she is. <laughs> she said, Dear Rob, I love watching your videos and drawing the pictures. I am one of your biggest fans. I also love your drawings. They are so neat, wonderful, and inspiring to look at. Love, Candace. Thanks, Candace. We love you too. She also sent us pitch these pictures. This one's of a present and some hearts. Aww. And also, she sent an American flag. That's really cool. Thanks, Candace. Oh, and also a mouse. She sent a picture of a mouse. It's a cute little mouse. This one's from Abby. And she drew Fluttershy. Yeah. This is cute, huh? A little Fluttershy. She did a great job. I love the hair. This is from Juliet. She drew Hello Kitty. And she wrote a little letter. And it says, Dear Hads, I enjoy your videos. And I like the videos with you in them. You are cute. Oh, I got to read this to Hads. From Juliet, P.S. I'm six. That is a really cute drawing of Hello Kitty. Okay, this one is from Savannah. Savannah, great job. She's from Orlando. That was an awesome drawing of a person. It's cute. Ah, I like the blue lips. <laughs> okay, this wolf is from Nico. I think that's how you say it. It says, hi, Rob and Chuckers. We enjoy your show. We will see you on the next video. Yes, you will. He says he's seven. Such a cool wolf. Okay, we don't know how to say his name, but his last name's Chen, huh? Yeah. And he drew, what did he draw? Jetvac. Jetvac, full, full blast. That is so awesome. <laughs> we love it, huh? Yeah. We'll put that on the back wall just with the other ones, too. <laughs> this one's awesome. It's a turkey, and it, and it also has a letter on it. It says, Dear Art for Kids Hub, my name is Riley. I tried my best. I'm 10, and I love music and drawing, but I love watching your videos. My first video was an owl, but I got so addicted, I wanted to subscribe. I was the one they comment about the zombie, but Chuckers, I love your turkey. I thought this was fun. You are all amazing artists. My favorite thing to do after homework is to watch you guys. My favorite sports is softball. Love, Riley. All right, that's all the mail we're gonna open today. That was a ton of mail, huh? <laughs> and we still have a ton more to do, so we'll try to get through it this week and catch up. We hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of your art that you sent in. We loved reading your notes, too. Thanks for sending that to us, huh? Yeah. We gotta share some of that with hats, too. Yeah. Yes. All right, dude, for all of our art friends that don't know how to send their art to us, what's our address? PO Box 927 Blending Grove, Utah 84062. Yes, 84062. Good job, dude. Give me five. <laughs> well, we also got a ton of art that they sent us through email. Can yeah. you show that to them right now? Yeah. All right, we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Art friends. Right now.